The Philippines, Wall of Shame. Um, I've had three responses to actually cover this subject. I, was, I wasn't really fussed if I covered it or not, to be honest. But since people have asked, first thing I want to say is, why, why did I end up on it? Well, the reality here is I had set up a forum back then, um, a few years ago, be over three years ago now, um, and I was just going through the process of setting it up. I, was, I wasn't expecting many users, and then there was a big influx. There was about 160 people joined over a couple of days um, due to a dispute on another forum. Now, the other forum uh, was basically there'd been some sort of payday loan scheme going on, and what, for whatever reason, the, well, there was a, it was run by a guy called Bill. Bill had died, but Bill had a business partner that ran that forum. So basically there were disputes between the different people. As far as I'm aware now, there's a lot of stuff come out that wasn't freely available then. Um, from what I've heard, I haven't heard anything for some time now, everyone got their money back anyway. Uh, but basically they, there was the assumption that the person who owns a forum was disappearing with the money. Um, but the main thing here is the influx done at my forum that was setting up at the time. Alongside that, the same forum owner ha had allegedly assaulted someone else's girlfriend um, on Cebu Island. Um, there had been some sort of drinking session and it revolved in a, a woman being assaulted. Now, the guy who said his partner had been assaulted, approached me and asked for a bit of assistance in the legal side of things. So I helped, you know, I'm not, you know, whether somebody's guilty or not, it's not for me to make that decision. The, that is part of the court system. So I assisted with looking at how to track the person down because they were basically fleeing the country so they must have known they had done something wrong to do that in the first place um, now a few things linked together because I was also dealing with the Ella Joy murder case um, on behalf of somebody accused of the crime um, I'd also taken an interest in it which is why the, I was already aware that what was being pushed in the media was incorrect because it happened in my area. So I went and mapped all the crime scene and stuff because it just didn't make any sense. Um, and after a lot of investigation, which took over a year, I know what really happened, but at the end of the day, nobody's going to reopen the investigation and actually go for the person who did it. Um, let's just say it wasn't a foreigner involved and it's somebody uh, extremely close to the family. Um, I'll leave it at that. But while I was doing this, there was also a Thomas Rutland. Um, Thomas Rutland was involved with a very large um, child abuse ring and was arrested in Cebu. Why it becomes relevant is Thomas Rutland was actually... Um, arrested two, three days, he was released two, three days prior to the Ella Joy case. So, you know, the murder. So these things were tied together and it's like, well, was Thomas Rutland involved with that? Because the girl, the girl that was murdered was a six-year-old child. Um, as such, I was investigating with the police. At that time, I didn't know an internet troll was a complete and utter liar. Um, so I contacted him and asked him, because he was always talking his sources and his access to the police, etc. Um, did he have anybody relating to the Thomas Rutland case? Because I'm trying to look at what's the odds on that tying with the murder of Ella Joy. Bear in mind here, I work with a child protection unit in Cebu. I also work with ICE, which is, for the Americans there, they'll know it's the, the FBI's overseas version. Um, I also get involved with Interpol. 
and I predominantly like to get rid of bad expats. And I'll quite openly say it, I'm not a fan of people that abuse other people, especially children. So that's what I, you know, I get involved in. I'm quite happy to get rid of bad people because they reflect on all of us. And also, morally, they think um, they can get away with it being out in the East, where I'd like to actually try and reduce their population where I can. So I did get involved in the Thomas Rutland case. In fact, there was a big seminar on the information relating to that case that I put forward that was actually given to me via a computer hacker. Um, so why is all this tied together? Well, the fact is this internet troll has no contacts. He's got nobody, nobody whatsoever. So his reputation um, was sort of not flawed, just didn't exist. It's he, he just all fake. He had no contacts because I have all the contacts. Um, I'm involved with police colonels and generals, etc. I'm involved with police from different countries that have an interest in the Philippines. Yet this guy isn't known to anybody and he, he has no network. It's all just made up nonsense. Now, I'm not too bothered about that. You know, at the end of the day, these people exist in the world and I'm not doing it for ego's reasons, which is why a lot of the stuff I do do, I don't really talk about. But what happened next was the forum stuff. He started getting involved in that because um, from what I heard, he'd paid some money towards the legal case for this assault um, between this expat there in the forum and the expat whose partner it was. He didn't pay for it. He, he contributed towards it. Um, as such, he sent, the guy said, do not um, let anybody know about this until he's actually had to go arrested. Because um, this is, bear in mind, this is stuff I find out afterwards. It's, this is like two, three weeks later. Um, but basically what this internet troll has done, he's paid a bit towards it for whatever reason he did. And then he publishes it online through his blog as if he's like, I paid for this, I'm doing this, blah, 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 I'm going to catch it, blah, blah, blah. All this, um, which gave the guy a heads up and he f fled the country. Um, the bit you won't read about in his blog, because um, he gave him a heads up on there was actually people going to pursue him and arrest him. So there's that bit. Then there's the bit that he started writing random stuff on my forums um, that weren't factual. Because there was there was a thread going on about the, the loans and stuff, you know, the payday loans, which all these people got involved in. I was not involved in any of it. <laughs> I just want to say that. They all just ended up on my forum discussing it. Um, and then this guy just kept, oh, link my site here, link my site there. And this is why he's all over the internet, because he links himself back all the time, because his only interest is his forum, uh, sorry, is his blogs. So every time he's like, oh, when I, I read this, blah, 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 I link it back to this, blah, blah, blah. That's all he's doing. And it's not factual. It's not factual at all. And so these, because all I'm trying to do is sort out who's done what and just get people to pay what they're owed, sort out all their differences, blah, blah, blah. Because at the end of the day, I'm not really that fussed. They're not my problems. Um, the assault thing, yes, I was happy to get involved and stop it happening because that guy that was involved in, allegedly involved in it, has been known to be involved in similar things more than once. So from my viewpoint, I don't like people like that. You know, anybody that hits a woman, it, it doesn't sit at my table. That's, I'll just, it's as simple as that. Um, so this is where that go. So I then ban this internet troll from my blogs, uh, from my forum. He then starts writing about me on his blogs, or as if there's some conspiracy going on. It's all in his head. There is no conspiracy. Um, what happened next? That's it's about then I started contacting everybody on his list, and the guy that was involved in this forum 
assault thing, blah, blah, blah. He was on that list and was on it already. There was a guy called Chris Bennett's on there, and there was several other people. And as I went through them, because I don't know most of these people personally. I've met several of them at pool parties and stuff like that, but I do not hang around with them. I have no idea what they get up to socially or business-wise. But reading this wall, I started like, okay, I'll email Chris. What's this about, Chris? And then he sent me the links back to the guy with the forum on that forum. And it was to do with his ex-partner. Yeah, Chris's ex-partner. Because there was something to do with his ex-partner. She got involved with another expat that um, was involved with Shabu, which is a drug. And basically had run off with a child that Chris wanted access to. You know, he was willing to pay a monthly uh, access money. Uh, well, support even though the child was not hit. He, he built up a relationship. Um, so this is where it gets interesting because what happened was there were some discussions online between this expat that was a drug addict, shall we say, and Chris and the guy that owned the forum. And then, hello, our troll jumps in and starts stirring it up on the forum thread. Now, I'm not sure why all that was on the forum in the first place. I think it was more to do with warning other people about the expat that was involved with drugs than anything else. So, where did that go? Well, the first thing is, um, there was cases filed backwards and forwards between the expat that was on drugs and um, he took the other guy's, Chris's girlfriend to file a case for the child maintenance. Because um, obviously the child maintenance isn't Chris's anyway. It's not his wife. It's not his child. He's not responsible for them. He agreed to do it. But the first month, he paid up the money and they disappeared. He didn't see the child, so he didn't pay the second month. So then they t took him to court. He turned up at court with a lawyer, etc. And they didn't. But that expat sent the documents to the internet troll. Um, why is this all relevant? Because in the Philippines, if you don't pay child support, it's down as like child cruelty or something in the, the legal document terms. It's not, it's just the it falls under the same legal categories. There was no child cruelty at all. Um, but the fact was, Chris went to the court, contested it on the, the, the agreement only stood while there was access, etc. They didn't turn up to court. As such, it was thrown out of court as basically Chris didn't have to pay it. But then later on, because um, the thing with Chris is he's got all his legal documents, so I could see all of his. But I spoke to Chris about this, and he said he took he sent them to the internet troll, but the internet troll didn't want to know because obviously the internet troll is not interested in being proven wrong that. This guy that he was now involved with, which is a drug addict, um, expat, that's run off with somebody else's uh, woman, etc., is a bad person because that would have to admit that the expat, uh, the troll, was actually wrong. But also, it, it kills the story a bit, doesn't it? So he ignores all the facts. And this is why you'll see some of this stuff is just regurgitating nonsense over and over again on the web because he will not post the facts. Chris has got it all. You know, I've seen it all. I've seen all the, the legal documents. Because um, I made an effort to meet Chris in person. Because I don't see why people should be allowed to abuse people like this on the internet. Just because they think they can get away with it. Oh, I mean, He has got away with it a fair bit. But at the end of the day, the more this guy's gone on the web, the more damaged his site's become. Um, the internet troll... You read this stuff, you can see straight through it. It's just garbage. Then there was another guy that I tried to contact, but I couldn't get through to him. Um, now, the odd thing is he was involved in something in CDO to do with web hosting and other bits and pieces. I have no idea what what he was involved in. Neither does the troll, though. He, he makes out he was involved in catching this guy doing whatever. He was not at all. Otherwise, he'd actually be in be involved in the guy's murder when he was actually shot um, by two assassins at a swimming pool. 
Yes, that's actually true. The two two guys actually basically went into a swimming pool uh, resort at night and shot him and his girlfriend at the swimming pool. Um, I, like I said, no idea what the guy was up to. But the thing is, in the Philippines, if you're doing business with mayors and other people, you're putting yourself at risk in a big way because a lot of these guys would be... If they're in the West, it's probably crime lords. Some of the, <laughs> no joking, um, assassinations only cost about three and a half thousand pesos upwards. Um, you can buy a handgun for one and a half thousand pesos in the Philippines. So, what was going on with that? I am not a hundred percent sure, but I'm sure the stuff the internet troll was writing about, a wasn't true, b his involvement wasn't true, and c. It's, he wouldn't have enough information and facts to actually put anything together. So, why is all this relevant? Right, the internet troll lives in France, has a very low life. Um, what I mean is he's got a €10,000 pension a year. He's got nothing better to do all day. He's got bitterness because of the Philippines. You know, we we were talking about Philippines depression when people leave. I think he suffers with that in some ways. But also he's got some bitterness towards the Rotary Club, which is another tie-in with Chris, because Chris used to be the president of the Rotary Club on Mactan, if I'm correct. And allegedly, um, this internet troll was involved with the Rotary on the whole. Um, but when you look into it, Firstly, I contacted people in Bohol, um, in the Lions and in the Rotary Club, and nobody seems to know who this internet troll is. And this troll was on about corruption within the Rotary Club, yet he was the manager of the project and all this sort of stuff and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just thinking, this doesn't make any sense. If he's managing the project, then he's had a lot of involvement in it. Yeah, I can't find anybody actually knows him physically. Um, there was alleged some ex-British policeman that was involved with the Rotary that did get involved in something else. But at the same time, these people are insignificant. But this um, troll's been writing about them for years. And when I started looking into it more and more, it goes back to 2005. He's had issues with people since 2005, this internet troll. And you go through the Yahoo groups and everything else, this guy's just got an issue, a bitterness. And I'm not sure when he left the Philippines, but I mean, he talks about, oh, I've got a farm in the Philippines. No, he hasn't. Um... He talks about being involved with the police and everything else. No, he's not. Um, he's just a fantasist. That's all it is. For you, for somebody who's sitting right, say, a thousand web pages on me, you have to ask, A, what is their mental state? B, um, why? I mean... Never met the guy, never seen him at all, never been in the Philippines at the same time, got no connection with him whatsoever except through the forum I banned him from, and finding out the guy lies a lot. Um, and then it's been pretty much when you start putting these people together, like I saying, the guy that was uh, his partner was assaulted by the guy with the forum, he was then accused of living with his mistress and wife by this troll because he didn't like the fact that um, everything had come to light because obviously the guy brought everything to light because at the end of the day, the internet troll had turned around and released information he didn't want in public um, domain until he'd actually served the guy from the forum with these papers. But you find that the internet troll didn't like that either. Um, he liked telling the story how he was catching this guy and he'd paid for all this and done this and it's just like come on you just, it's just lots of rubbish um, and that's basically it there is no big story here there's nothing fantastic 
yes, there's been all sorts. I mean, the thing is with a lot of this stuff, when you actually tell it as it is, people are a bit, what? You know, shocked. you got Thomas Rutland with the child abuse cases because um, basically he was selling young children online to a... Um, oh, what's the... There was a website online but they're all tied in together with it. not all the people but thomas rutland was tied in with the child abuse on that um and basically that's where he was eventually arrested i, I was hunt, helping hunt down the children um with the help of the pmp child protection throughout the visayas region um the ella joy case Nothing of any use come from the internet troll. All he's tried to do is stir up some hatred and things like that. It's just a sick guy. Um, the case relating to the forum, the forum uh, owner and the assaulted partner of the expat is still ongoing because the expat, the, the forum owner, left the country. Uh, thanks to the internet troll that tries to make himself out as important, yet he was the reason that he got away in the first place. Um, otherwise, he'd have been caught before he made it to the airport. So, what else is there? Um, was I involved in any prostitution rings? I just no. You know... It, I mean, this is the funny thing. I was talking to um, one of the, one of the uh, owners of another call center in Cebu a while back because we we're working together. Because I started co-oping, uh, co-oping several call centers together. Um, because obviously, a lot of the time, you don't want to be taken on staff when you might find that the call center down the road's got ten staff available that are waiting on a campaign when you can just tap into that resource. So I was building up the cooperative organ organization in working. And she actually spoke to a PMP colonel because obviously she'd read some crap about me online and just said, well, you know, because it was her relative. He said, well, look at this. He lives here. He's married. He's got kids here. Why would he be involved in any of this stuff? And basically that's it. Why would I? I've got no interest in it whatsoever. Um, do I know PMP that arrest a lot of these people? Yes, I do. Um, I have a lot of contacts within the police community because, A, socially I know a lot of people, um, but, B, I do try to get involved in some serious cases because it reflects on all of us. If there's a bad expat, it makes us all look bad, and as such, I'm quite happy to get rid of them. If I can help, I will help, and... That's why I can phone up certain people and they will meet me for a coffee without even a second thought because if I'm meeting for coffee, I can already help them or at least ask them what they need and we'll do what I can. Is, and then the, this is the other thing about snitching on expats. There's no snitching here. As you can see, I'm very vocal on what I do. I'm not some secret detective uh, roaming around. What I'm doing is like... This is another case. There was a guy that had basically raped a 14-year-old girl. Um, information had been put online, and I didn't know where it came from. So I printed it off, took it to the PMP station in the uh, Rotunda in central Cebu. It's, it's the Osmana, Osmana Circle. Took it to the police station and asked them, because they said the guy was in that area, and I asked him, are you looking for this guy? Blah, blah, blah. And this is what I said. The, the guys at the station didn't know who I was. And this is um, why they were a bit like, oh, because they don't know if you're Interpol or whatever. Um, because as soon as they confirm that they're looking for that guy, I will use the expat community to find him. Um, because at the end of the day, there's not many expats in the community that will hide a child rapist simple as that now I can't be any more blunt I can't be any more honest 
But I will tell you, that's what I do. I'm quite happy to get rid of the bad elements. Why? Because I have integrity, I have children, I do not want these people around. Uh, simple as that. And if I can help the police do it, I'll help them. Nothing wrong with it. Um, do I look for credit? No, because this is probably one of the few times I actually talk about what I do get up to. Um, now and again, I don't. It's not full time role. I just get involved when there's something relevant. Um, I'm not an internet stalker. I'm not a internet troll that wanders around looking for something to write about. If something happens, like the Ella Joy murder case happened in the same town, I got involved. The photos that were online, the sketches were online. That was because I went to the Minglanelia police station, copied them, and put them on the internet. There you go. That's what I do. So you got to remember, Filipinos generally work in the Filipino communities. The expat community is there. It can be a wonderful resource, or you can just assume they're all bad. I'd rather we were actually pushing something positive to say, look, we don't want it either. We'll help you get rid of it. Okay. Um, please put your comments and questions below. I'll quite happily answer anything. I really don't. You know, I, like I said, I've got nothing to hide. My business elements in the Philippines, there's been nothing illegal or dishonest at all. When you employ 45 people, you can't afford to be dishonest and unless it's a dishonest business completely. Um, businesses in the Philippines can't hide. The, the reality is, if you were running any business, you get an interest once you start making some serious money. Um, even Peter's been on about it. He's had three businesses in the Philippines where he's had problems locally. I don't know what business he's been doing, but I know from my own, I've had no problems because we involve the local mayor, we involve the local police, we involve everybody that needs to be involved. Everything's above board. Always has been, always will be, because I don't need the aggravation. Simple as that. I've got no need to be involved in anything illegal either. It's just, there's nothing in it. What, what's the benefit? Anyway, thanks for watching.